Hello and welcome back to the channel. So there's been a lot of talk about depopulation these days, right? I want you to take a listen at this um, video clip where Kamala Harris, she says something very unintentional. She says something about reducing the population. Again, she said it unintentionally. But um, you take a listen at this and then of course you know I will be right back. And so we set an ambitious goal to cut our greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030 and to reach net zero emissions by 2050. The investment we are announcing today will help us to achieve these goals and it will do so much more. Because think also about the impact on not only the local economy, not only on an investment in the entrepreneurs and innovators from and in the community, think about the impact on something like public health. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, and reduce population, and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. <laughs> So after hearing that, it's very clear that it was a slip of the tongue. She didn't intend to say what she said, but she said it. Y'all get that, right? She didn't intend to say it, but she said it. Hmm. She said reduce populations. So I'm only talking about this because no one should be surprised at this because it was also prophesied, it's a biblical prophecy, that the world's population is going to decrease. And so, for those in the know, those who understand biblical prophecy, um, you don't have to be shaken by this. All of this comes with great understanding. And that understanding is that biblical prophecy is going to be fulfilled regardless to what man does. Man can try to reshape things, change policies. They can try to do whatever they want, right? At the end of the day, biblical prophecy is going to be fulfilled. Um, and again, I've stated so many times, the most I can use whoever he wants to use. Now, that was Kamala Harris's slip of the tongue, uh, which is just basically confirming what many of us already knew. Now, the thing is, we've just got to prepare ourselves both naturally and spiritually for the things that we know we are going to be facing down. Prepare yourself naturally and spiritually, right? Be not soon shaken in mind because these things must come to pass. They have to happen. The Bible tells us clearly that the Most High's word has gone forth out of his mouth and it shall not return void. So when we hear talk of depopulation, of course, from a human standpoint, you're saying that's a lot of people that have to die. So of course you're gonna feel some kind of way about that. You're gonna feel some kind of way about that. But at the same time, this is where you should fortify yourself in your faith. Fortify in your faith and ask the Most High to teach you how to navigate through all of this. Because we know with this depopulation, so much more has to happen as well. A lot of things are going to take place with this depopulation. It's not just an issue of, oh, two thirds of the earth's population is gonna die. That's not the only issue. It's the turmoil that leads up to it, the birth pangs, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Will your eyes be able to behold these things and still maintain your faith? That's what comes to mind for me. All of us should be doing whatever we can, regardless of how small we believe it to be. Do whatever we can to prepare ourselves for what is to come. It is my belief that spiritual preparation is more important than anything because with spiritual preparation, the natural part is going to come as well. With the spiritual preparation, um, you will be led by the Spirit or the Ruach HaKodesh, which will lead you and guide you into all truth. 
lead you and guide you into the things or the directions that you're supposed to go so that we can go in these directions without fear, right? So that we can clear, should I say, hear the Most High's voice very clear. I want to be able to hear his still, soft voice in the wee hours of the night. I want to be able to listen for my set of instructions from the Ruach HaKadosh. This is what we all must strive for. Because also with these trying times, the populations on the earth are going to become increasingly wicked and evil. So that's a whole lot that we need to learn how to navigate through. I feel like sometimes people are sleepwalking. Sleepwalking basically towards the edge of a cliff. I feel this way because when I see the actions of people, I'm a very observant person. I don't have to stare to be observant. I'm mentally and spiritually observant of people, of their actions, what they say, what they're doing, how they look. When we go out and about, I try to make it my business not to just be walking and floating through life like, oh, I'm going to get this or I'm going to get that. I like to be aware of what's happening around me. Aware of the people. Aware of how they even look at you. Be aware of these things. Some very strange things are happening in the world and we cannot afford to ignore anything. If someone makes eye contact with me or I see someone staring at me, my mind automatically goes into, what was that all about? <laughs> you see? <laughs> you know, we cannot afford to let anything slide. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we have to be on guard, both naturally and spiritually because there is a plan that's already been set in motion. That depopulation plan, even though we are attaching it to man and his doing, it was prophesied. And because it was prophesied, it is ordained of Yah, meaning it is going to happen whether we like it or not. There is nothing that we can do to stop it. So although Kamala Harris may have had a slip of the tongue, she ain't saying nothing that the Bible didn't already say was going to happen. She is only confirming what is out there in the universe that has been set in motion from the foundation of the world. And with that, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.